what's good my lovelies lovely soul empress here coming to do the air signs reading from september 12th to the 18th okay what you need to know we're going to take a look at what spirit feels you need to know for that time period spirit can you show me what gemini libra and aquarius need to know for september 12th through the 18th please Follow the leader, okay? So these could be your ancestors showing you the path forward, okay? Or you could be the leader, okay? You could be setting the tone for the people around you, okay? Movement, there could be a physical move or you're getting closer to something you've been trying to achieve, okay? With the moonlight, I feel like this is something you discussed with the divine, something you have requested, and strength okay so whatever this season is it's testing your endurance in some area or uh your ability this could also be proving to you somehow that you um are capable of something okay because i'm looking at the numbers here you have 40 for follow the leader which is four firm foundations you got 28 for movement you're completing something moving on um moonlight is 51 6 i feel like this is coming with some type of victory and then you got strength 44 which is the infinity number okay so i feel like there's something big spirit can you show me what else do my um air signs need to know You have here heart of soul, all encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, serenity, and it came out in reverse. So you have some questions about love, whether this relationship, okay, is working, or this could be like maybe you're single and you're feeling like, you know, you you want to be with somebody right now. You also have here seraphim's gateway, voice activation, angelic attunement, divine support. And if you're having a blockage in your heart chakra or in the romantic sector of your life, I feel like you're getting assistance from the divine. Arcturian light codes, evolutionary downloads, recalling power, future thinking. And I feel like if there was a blockage in the heart chakra in regards to a relationship, you're being healed of something so that you can move forward, okay? We're gonna take a six card spread. We're gonna take a look at what's going on for the collective for my air sign spirit can you show me the situation thank you can you show me what is coming towards them can you show me what is falling away can you show me what they cannot see thank you can you show me the truth of the matter please thank you and can you show me the most likely outcome thank you at the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. Okay, this is about commitment or how committed you are to something. This also can be about some type of judgment, maybe court action. Uh, this also can be about a level of commitment or doing the right thing, right? Like playing within the lines or following your morality, okay? With the star, I feel like this has something to do with your your path forward okay so let's take a deck let's um clarify some of these you have the magician for the situation so you're definitely manifesting something here spirit why is this magician here can you show me Seven of Swords, okay? So you could feel like there was somebody deceptive around you or maybe you felt like you had to be deceptive to manifest something. Maybe you're holding something back. With the Three of Wands, it's about the future. Let me get one more spirit. And the Four of Cups, okay? So you could be manifesting something. Okay, um, I feel like you need to look within whether this thing really um, resonates with you. 
because you're laying down the foundation for something, but it may be something that you're unsure of with the Four of Cups. Like, you're not sure if you still want this, okay? With the truth of the matter, you have the Ace of, or I should say, with what's coming in is the Ace of Swords, the truth, okay? So, also, if you are taking on some type of um, adventure or something with somebody, you could be questioning if they are really truthful about what they say. You have the Ace of Cups. I said the Ace of Swords with the Ten of Cups, okay? So I feel like the Divine is going to show you something about the Ten of Cups. So if you're in a relationship, it could be showing you that there is commitment here. Let me take a look. Let's get another card. With the Ten of Pentacles, listen, it came out slightly crossed. So meaning that maybe the money uh, will come, but it's not all the way there yet. Okay, it will grow. But I feel like um, you might not feel like this person is, is truthful or in it for the right reasons. Okay, or maybe you had to go it alone and keep quiet about this, this thing. But I really feel like you're questioning whether somebody truly is in for the long haul. But with what's coming in, you got the Ace of Swords the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles that's fucking great okay what's falling away is the queen of coins okay taurus virgo capricorn okay and the ace of swords so you could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn or this could be you saying i don't know if i want to be in a relationship right now right you could have manifested something but this could be in a partnership and maybe you want to do it by yourself okay for some of you, you could be dealing with a queen of coins, male or female, and could be unsure if this person is still all in, okay? But with uh, what you can't see is the three of wands and the strength card coming out cross, okay? So uh, there's a lot going on right now, and you're unsure about the future in this connection with the ten of wands because there's been a lot of burdens, but the Page of Cups is here. Somebody is offering a small cup of love and is being hopeful for the future. Um, Knight of Pentacles, whatever it is, has moved very slowly and cautiously. And this could be you this time moving cautiously because you're unsure about somebody's intentions. And with the Strength card also in the same position coming out cross, you could feel like somebody isn't uh, giving enough or uh, maybe feel like a slight resistance or they're not doing their fair share with the Four of Swords here and the Queen of Wands coming up as the Phoenix Rising. Now, for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody and you're wondering what your, what your uh, position is in this person's life and they could be kind of hesitating and you're wondering why they're hesitating. It could be because there's a Queen of Wands involved in the situation. Okay, with the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck, that is the situation for some of you, okay? The Emperor is here, okay? Because there could be somebody that's controlling in this situation. Now, for those of you, if this is a situation at work, they could be trying to bring in somebody, pay them less to do what you do, okay? But um, for most of you, this is a question of the status of a relationship, Okay, it feels like you're about to put your all into something and you're questioning whether this Queen of Pentacles is really, you know, down with you, male or female, okay? It feels like you're offering the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, so that's happy life, happy wife, happy family, and legacy, generational wealth, and, and, um, and family, okay? So it feels like you're putting it all on the line for uh, some type of commitment, Okay, now you have justice here. This is the truth of the matter, okay? Balance is coming in. This is the card of Libra, guys. Why is justice here? With the Hierophant. Somebody wants to commit. Okay, with the Two of Pentacles here, uh, you know, there could be a lot going on and you could be unsure if this situation will come into balance. Maybe there was a question about this commitment in the past. Okay, but you also have the hang woman here as uh, the most likely outcome. Something happens. 
So it goes from being stuck to a tower that quickly um, moves something forward. It feels like some type of truth, okay? And what comes out is the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So male or female. It feels like this Queen of Pentacles might be saying something, okay? Or you could be the Queen of Pentacles, like... Because you're definitely the queen of swords, right? So you could be coming into balance with the truth and also looking at this quintessential spouse energy, right? The two of swords, which you can't see. Okay, so for some of you, there could be, you could be the queen of swords, there could be a queen of pentacles, and then the king of swords is here, okay? What you may not know is that there could be another air sign who has to choose between a queen of pentacles and a queen of swords. Could be from the past person. Okay, you got the hierophant here that came up at the bottom of the deck. Okay, that's twice. Okay, so this is definitely about commitment and moving to calmer waters. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, three of pentacles is definitely about a collaboration. And with the... Judgment coming out crossed. There's something here that's preventing a decision from being made, okay? And it's the star. Could be spirit. Having you look at something with the lovers here. This is Gemini's card, okay? But I feel like you need to look within. And I was saying that in the first cards of the situation, this Seven of Swords could be you uh, deceiving yourself about what direction you want to go in. So it feels like you could be committing to like a happy life, happy wife, happy family with uh, the Ten of Pentacles, the, the ability to uh, achieve generational wealth and legacy. But Spirit is asking you, is this what your heart really wants? Because it seems like there's something that is making you question this person but the person looks like they're all in so is the question really coming from you and then you have the star here as well let's see why that's here the star with the eight of pentacles okay and the fool and the six of wands so i feel like you're being led to this situation but there's maybe some kind of fear and the chariot is here could involve some type of move air signs. Okay. With the six of cups, you could be questioning whether you should give this another chance or whether you should return to a different path. I feel like you're in between two timelines. Okay. Spirit, can you show me anything else that my air signs, Gemini and Libra Aquarius need to know for September 12th through the 18th, unexpected income lovers message and expectation let's take a look you got pathway at the bottom of the deck unexpected income spirit with blame coming out crossed okay so this also could be like maybe you feel like you have to give up something to get something and you should ask yourself if you're going to be irritated by what you're giving up so that you don't have resentment towards someone else, okay? And then you have the lovers here. With acceptance coming out cross and death, okay? So I feel like there could be a choice that needs to be made either by you or by someone else, okay? Um, and I feel like this may have something to do with a third party or some type of um, situation that happened in the past, okay? And I feel like if you have a third party and this situation is occurring, it feels like this person wants to offer all or is in for the all. But if they were to discover that there was somebody else, they would leave or this could be you, vice versa, Right, So there's a need for all parties to be clear about what they want because there's an opportunity for the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups to be here. Okay, you've got message here as well. Message comes out cross with trust. Okay, there could something could occur. 
you had the hangman with the tower something that highlights that trust is not in this relationship or that this person can't be trusted or maybe that's how they feel about you with the peace somebody wants peace in their life but this situation could bring grief okay there's a chance for an abundance here but somebody needs to be courageous and end some type of past connection or past timeline to be able to step into this uh ten of cups and ten of pentacles with expectation coming out here spirit why is this expectation here adversity okay you could be expecting this situation to be harder than it is or maybe this other person is somebody could be in the vibration of yesterday and questioning something that happened before and if it's going to happen again with expectation adversity and doubt okay but somebody needs the courage to move away from you know uh fear or doubt because what's offered is courage abundance and peace Okay, but it's like the grief of yesterday is tainting a situation. Let's say that this person, you didn't have a complicated situation with them, but you had a complicated situation with the person that's before you. You could be afraid to give to this situation completely because of the past, okay? Or this other person is. Now, you also have pathway at the bottom of the deck. Let's take a look at that. Pathway with envy, right? So um, I also feel like spirit is telling you to look at what your true desire is, uh, air signs in this situation, because it feels like you can make a misstep, pick the wrong thing, and then be envious that you didn't take the opportunity or something, okay? With worry, I feel like you're going back and forth about a choice, okay? Spirit's telling you to get balance, okay? Okay. Because I feel like once you do, you'll be able to choose wisely, okay? And this would bring you freedom, okay? But you need imagination to look at the situation from a different lens, okay? Spirit, can you show me anything else that my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, need to know for September 12th through the 18th, please? Thank you. Okay, you got let your friends help you, calling in your soulmate, getting to know each other, uh, true love and soulmate at the bottom of the deck. We're going to take a look at these. Let your friends help you, Spirit. Why? Divine Feminine. Okay, so um, this could be you or this could be your partner. All right. But either way, someone here is getting advice from others as to how to proceed. Calling in your soulmate, past life, okay? This could be part of the problem, okay? Let's say that this you had a complicated relationship with this person or with somebody from the past, okay? It's like, uh, you know, the fear of the past is also causing fear in the future or making you see things from a tainted perspective. You got getting to know each other here, spirit Why? See, somebody here, if not both of you, or if not together, okay, you have getting to know each other with relationship abuse. There was some type of toxicity, whether together, apart, okay, individually, you could have experienced that, or just one of you. But either way, this uh, frequency of the past is tainting the view of the situation right now. And then you got true love, spirit Why? weather out the storm and change of heart okay some of you could have been weathering out the storm and are deciding to walk away some of you are deciding that this a situation is worth fighting for okay with the soulmate at the bottom of the deck spirit why is that but i feel like by the end of the week you start to get clarity okay Yeah, you see, you got soulmate, okay, there was some type of heartbreak that is either from this relationship or a different one that causes some type of stagnancy, somebody's not releasing, if not both parties, but the hands of time are here, new life, and overcome the odds with planning ahead at the bottom of the deck, okay, so I feel like you will be pursuing this, but it's, it's as if either you or this other person has some kind of heartbreak that is still lingering whether it was in this relationship or from a past relationship and it's causing some type of um 
blockage or preventing one or both of you from giving yourself over to a situation completely, all right? I feel like uh, you had a lot of great cards, but it's like a doubt that's coming from within. So you did have that Seven of Swords uh, clarifying the magician, right? So Spirit's also saying, you know, while you're manifesting something, try to keep your thoughts positive because what you think about, you bring about. And if your mindset is pulling towards uh, this person is going to betray you or do something negative to you, then, you know, you might be manifesting that as well, okay? So Spirit is uh, telling you to go within and see what it is that you really want to bring towards yourself and then align your thoughts to that, all right? That's what I have for you guys. I'd just like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt that I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing you all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste, gang gang. Bye.